Hello everybody, welcome back. Just wanted to give everyone a heads up that you should check your DLSS file after World Update 16 Caribbean Edition. I would not have expected a World Update to change your DLSS file version, whereas I fully would expect a Sim Update to change your DLSS version. Um, however, thinking about it, the Sim version was updated I think it's now 1.36.2, something along those lines. Um, so clearly some other, you know, update was, was, was included along with this, which is expected that they make updates to the underlying files of the sim. Uh, it's just not something that would have occurred to me to check um, after a world update, but lo and behold, I checked the LSS swapper this morning and look, <laughs> 2.4.12 which is the version, the stock version that comes with the sim. So for those of you who are new to the DLSS thing, this is deep learning super sampling. This is NVIDIA's AI technology um, that uh, that has a, a really, can have a really big impact on your, on your sim experience. There have been, uh, I've gotten comments from people with 4090s that have had their sim experiences completely transformed with this change that they uh that they didn't expect that they weren't getting the the performance they were expecting with the with the equipment they had and making this update made a huge change many many people have been uh have commented in the in the various videos about this that uh that this change can make a huge difference to their to their performance to ghosting to all kinds of things it doesn't have a noticeable impact for everyone i will grant that the bottom line is, this is like everything with Microsoft Flight Simulator. Some people, even people with the same uh, components, can have very different experiences with things. I know people that have a similar thing to what I have, which is a 12,700K and a 3080Ti, where for me, this has made a big change, and for them, it doesn't. Hard to explain why, uh, but it's, it's, a, it's a common refrain in Microsoft Flight Simulator. You get the DLS S swapper program from this uh, GitHub page. You just come over here and click on V1.0.4. Just click on that and then come down here to DLS S swapper installer. Click on that, save it. As you can see, I've got some the, the previous version as well as this version. Save it, run the installer. When the program opens, you're going to see this. It's going to have all the games that you have listed here. Now, one thing you want to make sure, go into the settings and make sure all your game libraries are enabled. It, this is Steam. This is Xbox app down here at the bottom. These are various. I, these have to do with other games that I don't play, clearly. Um, but on, on Microsoft Flight Simulator, you're either going to have the Steam version or the Xbox app version. So you want to have, which is the store version. And so you want to make sure that these game libraries are enabled so that Microsoft Flight Simulator will show up in your list of games. Um, and you come, so you're going to see here which version you have. And the stock version with Microsoft Flight Simulator is 2.4.12. And if that's what you have, you want to update that. The way you update that is come down to this little book symbol right here. Um, I already have the this version downloaded, the 3.5.1, which is the latest version. That's the one you want. Uh, but I'll show you how to download them in case uh, you are doing this for the first time. You just click here on download, the little down arrow. It will download the version for you. You come back here. You click on the game that you want to change it on, which is Microsoft Flight Simulator. And all of the versions that you have downloaded will not have anything right here. Okay? So I just downloaded 3.1.2, so there's no arrow here. Um, if for whatever reason you want to download 3.5.0, you have to download it at the other page using the previous process that I just showed you. Um, so you come in here. You highlight 3.5.10 and click swap. Done. That's it. Um, a couple of notes. There are some people who have had um, kind of jittery experiences with 3.5.1 
who have had better experiences with 3.5. So you're going to have to, you know, check this, see how it works for you. If 3.5.1 is a little, you know, again, kind of jittery, um, not really stutters per se like we know them, but just uh, not smooth and fluid, then give 3.5 v.2 a try or give 3.5 the original version a try. Um, very, very simple to do. can make a really, really big impact in your sim experience. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments section, and uh, I will see you guys later today for some live streaming around the Caribbean. Take care.